These are the four drops for my Grixis Large Build Mini Cube Casual Build. Um, here is a four drop uh, Rune Wing. Uh, I think it came in one of the theme decks, and that's why I'm keeping it for now. It's a four for two, two. Not particularly useful, it seems, but I'm going to keep all the cards from the theme decks. Here's a Shimmy Inspector that I pulled a long time ago. It's got a very long text. Um, when it deals combat to a player, that player reveals the hand, his hand, his or her hand. You choose a card from it. And if you're very lucky, your opponent will have a Thrag Tusk, and then you can dig out all the Thrag Tusk and exile them. Uh, Falkenrath Noble is very similar to uh, Blood Artist. Whenever another creature dies, or this creature dies, you gain one life and your opponent loses one life. It's a little more powered um, because it's a four drop. Um, looks to me like a useful card. I haven't played it. I would like to play it. Uh, Liliana's Shade, I have played. And it basically is one of these cards that has an ability that is similar to that of the Planeswalker, after which it is named Liliana. Uh, from Magic 2013, and uh, it can get it can be pumped. This little ability down here means that you can just pump it if you've got a bunch of swamps that are just sitting there untapped. Uh, it can give you one mana. It'll cost you. You're dropping four. Uh, it's a four drop, and all you get is one one. But you can pump it, and that's pretty useful. Uh, here is Barter and Blood, a sorcery, kind of tricky card because you have to sacrifice yourself. Now, if you don't have any creatures and your opponent has two on the board, that's great. This card actually uh, works as a board cleaner in very specific situations, the same way as Sever the Bloodline, uh, because it'll wipe out all cards with the same name. If your opponent's got 20 tokens that are exactly named, there they go. And it's got a clean flashback, although at 7, it's a little heavy. Blood Reckoning came in one of the theme decks, it's an uncommon, and that's why I'm keeping it. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with it. I've got other copies laying around. Whenever a creature attacks you or a plane swagger you control, that creature's controller loses one life. It's an enchantment, it stays on the board. I'm sure it comes in handy if, you're, uh, if your opponent's got uh, many creatures to attack you with. Here's yet another uh, theme deck card. A plain vanilla canyon minotaur uh, red creature. Here's another red creature. It's got trample, uh, blood fray giant. I think this one also came from one of the theme decks. Likewise for tre treacherous instinct, uh, gain control of target creature until end of turn. On tap it, it gets plus two plus zero and gains haste. Uh, then one card that I would love to it to be at lower mana cost. Anything that has to do with land destruction I think is pretty cool. Matter of fact, uh, this card is almost like a, a uh, should be called Nikos Bolas' helper or something because that's one of the main things that Nikos Bolas is to start taking out permanents and you usually uh, start taking out lands. Uh, this thing can destroy target artifact or land. Then I have my one, Olivia Valderen. Wish I had two. It's a legendary creature, so you're. All, I think it's good to have two. Um, you don't want to have too many because then you can, you can never play more than one at a time. Uh, I've lost a lot to this card. I haven't played it myself, um, and it's it's got multiple abilities. Uh, when you use the first one, you can deal uh, damage one damage to target creature. Then it becomes a vampire, and uh, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on Olivia. Then you come back for a second turn, and you hit it with the second ability, and you gain control of that vampire you just created. Uh, that's, that's a really handy card. Now, another card that's very similar, another mythic rare, uh, is Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. I haven't really figured out if this one is useful in the Grixis deck. I know Olivia definitely will be. It's one of the key cards, I would say, uh, in the deck. It's definitely 
a must have. I'm not sure about Falcon Wrath. Uh, Slaughter Games, great card. Very interesting story about this particular card, this one that I'm holding. If you look very closely, you will see that it is slightly damaged on the edge. Well, this card is pack fresh. All right. So this card came like that, slightly damaged on the edge from the pack. So there you go. I could have put it on eBay and said that it was pack fresh because it is, but it had slight damage from the pack. Evil Twin, a Demir card. I've used it. Very, very interesting card. Somehow it didn't get a lot of traction, um, even though it looks like it's pretty useful. Um, you can take your one of your opponent's cards and it becomes your own. You just mimic it. Um, then you have Essence Backlash, uh, counter target creature spell, uh, and Essence Backlash deals damage equal to that spell's power to its contro controller. I can see that card being useful. And then finally, Witchbane Orb, which was very useful in block constructed in a strad against all those uh, cursed decks that people were building where they would just play you know 20 cursed cards uh, you could come you could come in with this thing and you could destroy all curses attached to you in one go uh, a very useful card